the Bloodhound project is pushing boundaries in many ways. Not only is it being used to break speed records, it's also a rolling laboratory, and is being used as a showcase for new ideas and technologies. One of the most exciting developments in recent years is that of additive manufacture, or 3D printing. Used in labs and universities for quite some time, it's only now making its way into the wider world. It allows complex parts to be printed a layer at a time using a variety of different materials. This week, I've been chatting to Dan Johns, our resident expert in the subject, about another very important aspect of it. So, um, yeah, we often think of 3D printing as uh, a, a process that you can make lots of really cool, wonderful shapes. But actually, if you look all the way back to the uh, mining stage, we can see that 3D printing uses much less material and therefore has a much, uh, much more positive um, impact on the environment. On the left is the traditional process, and on the right is additive manufacturing. We start by mining 10 tonnes of rocks, which are sent to the factory for processing. Meanwhile on the other side we mine just one tonne. The factory is bound away, the first for longer as it has 10 times as much to do. And finally, out pops a 10 kilogram billet of titanium. Out of the other factory comes a 1 kilogram pile of titanium powder. The metal is loaded onto a big lorry or a small van for delivery. Once at the machine shop, the billet is secured and a series of tools machine away all the excess material. Meanwhile in the other factory, the powder is smoothed out and an energy beam is fired at it. Each time a layer is complete, a new layer of powder is smoothed over the top and the beam fires again. Once the machines have finished doing their jobs, the parts are revealed and they're identical. Equally strong, equally precise, but one of them took ten times the raw material to make. 